Hello and Assalamualaikum. Hi, my name is Nur Dayana Binti Zulkifli and for this Ecoma 2020, I would like to present my paper entitled Psychological Capital Elements, a study on job performance of public university administrator in Malaysia. So I shall proceed with the PowerPoint presentation after this. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Hi everyone, I would like to start my presentation with the background of the study. Right? Uh, I will start with uh, one statement by Heinich from 2011 regarding the workforce productivity. He says that workforce productivity remains a major element for organization success, including those in government sector. This is very essential for me because my respondent is from public universities administrator uh, that link under government sector in Klang Valley, Malaysia. Job performance quality also is a worldwide issue that is not only haunted companies all over the world but also fueled a great deal of research in the field of management, occupational health, work and also organizational psychology. These statements uh, was stated by Koopmans in 2011 that given a huge impact on how job performance quality is a worldwide issue from before and after. Enthusiastic employees excel in their work because they maintain the balance between the energy that they give and also the energy that they receive. Okay, so this statement is from Becker 2007. So I can say that the employees and employers' relationship is like a symbiosis, right? So it will maintain the balance and the energy that they give and also the energy that they receive. Successful implementation of job performance has been broadened widely, okay? So from before and after we need to go, we need to undergo many research, the implementation of job performance, such as by Burns 2006, Haizam 2011, Muhammad et al. 2010, and also the originated from Flashman 1973. Okay, so we can see here that the impact of OCB, the extra role performance proposed by McKenzie, Potsakoff, and Ahern from 1998 an intro concept proposed by Katz and Khan as mentioned in 2, 2011 will give a very high impact towards job performance and also my essential study in PSYCAP, Psychological Capital. Okay, so we can see the relationship in the next slide. Ladies and gentlemen, my area of study is this one, PSYCAP. PSYCAP is the acronym for Psychological Capital. This PSYCAP term has been introduced by Lutens and Yusuf from 2011, 2007, sorry, 2007 that suggested self-efficacy, hope, optimism, and resiliency. PSYCAP has been studied globally regarding OCB factor, and also Emotional Intelligence by Pradhan, Jena Bataria, Job Burnt Out by STV et al., Entrepreneurship Success by Hanafiah and Osman, and many, many more. So, I have been studied this for so long and I found that I want to know the relationship and the effectiveness of this side cap towards this OCB and also the in-roll uh, performance from the perception of the uh, public sector administrator. Okay, now we look into job performance. Alright, job performance is one of the most important aspects leads to the glory of the organization. So, job performance means that in order for the organization to achieve glory, to achieve success, they need to boost, they need to improve the job performance of the staff. It cannot be done individually from the top management only. The staff also need to be 
excited to work. The staff also need to uh, be boosted from their psychology, psychological capital, which promote employees' innovativeness as well and enhance their performance in performing tasks. This is uh, stated by Lee and Kim from 2012. The employee needs the employees which have high ambition and motivation to accomplish the goals. As I said earlier, this is like a symbiosis. Okay, so this is like a symbiosis. The employees needs the employer to, okay, to get them, to give them whatever they want. And the employer need to give, need to uh, retain the employees in order to achieve the organizational success. So employee is the pioneer to the development of the organization. In Malaysia, several researchers have studied job performance in public sector such as Chin, Sai and Muhammad, Mafuzah and Juraifa, and the respondents were chosen from multiple backgrounds. Uh, as I want to uh, research, as I want to do research on a public sector organization, public universities administrator in Malaysia, it was found out that there are 20 public universities in Malaysia until 2017 and more than 100 private universities and colleges in Malaysia. And for my study, I will focus only to seven universities located in Klang Valley. So my studies uh, focuses on the assistant registrar or the administrator, which involve multiple tasks that has been classified under management and professional service scheme, that level position and 41 in the public universities. These are all my problem statement. Why I want to do this study? Because the employee engagement score. Okay, we can see here that Malaysia and Singapore have has the lowest employee engagement score in organization. Why it happened? Okay, adakah orang Malaysia tidak gembira? Adakah orang Malaysia tidak selesa dengan tempat kerja masing-masing? Okay, we can see here also the lagging behind other staff education. Okay, we can see here Malaysia engaged workers is only 11% rather than not engaged with 81%. This is not a good figure to be classified on to be a developed country. Okay, so we can see here also employee engagement in Singapore and the difference between employee engagement in Malaysia. Okay. Due to this one, I want to do research. Why? Why Malaysia workers are not happy? Okay. So, these are among the research okay, about the happiness index. Okay. Why they are happy? Why they are not happy? Are uh, this because of the job performance? work engagement, side cap, and what else? Right, we move to the research objective slide. My research objective for this study is to identify the effect between side cap and job performance of the administrator in Malaysia Public University. I would like to, I would love to study the side cap because as I mentioned in my literature review, PSYCAP is one uh, theory that gives a proactive solution rather than a reactive solution. Okay, So in Malaysia, most of the time, the organization are taking the reactive solution, All right? which I find out that reactive Sometimes it's just given burden to the organization. They need to find out a proactive measure. Okay, we need they need to find out the problem before it happened. So I chose psychological capital to be linkage with the job performance. So in order to get is this can be relate, is this can be achievable, is this can be Efficiency to the job performance scheme 
job performance uh, level of Malaysia public university staff. Let's see. Alright, so this is my research question. Does SICAP influence job performance to uh, an assistant registrar or administrator in Malaysian public university? So, do my research able to answer this question? These are the significance of my study. I have three significance. Alright, so my significance number one directly involves the performance of the staff creates a framework which the element can be investigated and to adapt and develop new approach of organizational. And these are the potential limitations to my study. And also, this are my summary of literature review. I can find that several studies have shown that there is a positive relationship between sidecap and job performance. And also, it found out that hopeful, optimistic, resilient employees are more satisfied with their job. And for my findings, SICAP is related to favorable outcomes such as indoor performance, citizen behavior, job satisfaction, and many more. High level of psychological capital needed to ensure that could perform well and succeed. It is very important job performance together with job, job satisfaction. Administrator needs to have confidence in order to take on and thrive at challenging tasks and also the organization should prefer breaking a task into smaller and achievable components so that the efficacy of the employees can be enhanced in shorter span of time and also failure in tasks can be avoided. Okay, so I end up my presentation with the slide of my research methodology, my research design until my data analysis. Ladies and gentlemen, seeing excellence performance leads to high service quality and subsequent students' and satisfaction. A system registrar or the administrator who represent the major constituent of any university setting must be able to display a very high impact performance. Furthermore, in line with the need for Malaysia to improve the competitive advantage, especially in education center aspect to support the country's aspiration towards enhancing the university's reputation with a very great job performance among the team member, the administrator, who the, uh, the assistant registrar, as the frontliner to perform their role effectively. Given the importance of psychological capital or psychap into this matter, in contributing to high job performance, while investing in developing and leveraging capabilities, their capabilities, and will become their advantage for education institutions, especially for public universities. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation. Till meet you again next time. Thank you. Bye. Assalamualaikum.